And are there any underground lakes in Dallas? Probably. I think those are known as aquifers, but I know another place that has some underground lakes. Oh, oh, do you? According to something on the science-y things. So, <laughs> uh, let me pull this up. I'm so good at sharing my screen. I don't know how you guys share your screen so fast. I feel like every time you share your screen, it's just immediate. And with me, it's like, hang on. Hang on, guys. <laughs> let me find the button here. Every time. Anyway, um, so this is on the BBC uh, website that the ESA, the European Space Agency, their Mars Express spacecraft, has found the presence of underground lakes, four of them exactly, uh, on Mars. Um, so this was hinted at in 2018. There were three of them that were on the poles, I believe, and or on the I think on the South Pole. And then now there's there's another one that they found. But like here's a little map of it. You see the oh, little lake the underneath? Map. Whoa, yeah. fancy. So this is, how did they discover this? Science. Oh, well, there you go. That means it's real. I'm, I mean, I guess this, uh, I don't think it actually says here, and I'm not smart enough, and somebody's yelling at their, at their steering wheel right now because <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, no, it's, 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 they've got, you know. So <laughs> they've got we've stuff got... on the satellite. <laughs> Yeah, it looks uh, like some kind of topographical map here. Okay, so, and these are liquid water, right? It is, this but it's very like, um, uh, yeah. salty. It's very salty, very briny. Still, um, though. Yeah, so, the, I mean, it's 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 got implications for life, obviously, anytime you find water anywhere. They think it might be too salty for it to actually have... Um, created life in it like i was saying uh -huh. some hyper saline le le lakes on earth can reach salt concentrations of 40 percent but this one they don't know exactly what the concentration is mm -hmm. um so is it too salty for life we don't know it might be salty enough that or not salty enough that we could use it in some way either right. for creating fuel or to uh to you know drink when we get there but I mean, we, we've been we've been looking at this for a long time as to whether or not there's like underground lakes um, on Mars. And and they found other little briny deposits here and there that were like locked away in ice. But this seems to be an actual like liquid lake. That's massive. There, I mean, yeah, th I wonder if this is just kind of Mars's <clears throat> response to the Venus news. You know, it's like, hey, hey, hey <laughs> I've got life, too. Look at me. You know, yeah, Mars is the the girl in the red dress in the meme. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, or I guess it was the other girl, not the girl in the red dress. But that, I mean, liquid water, like that's that's amazing, like that's incredible because that you know, it salty, fine. But I mean, I don't know. I watch countless National Geographic things with my son about you know the ocean, and every time I see one, I'm just blown away. Like, do you know what the midnight zone is in the ocean? Where like it's so far down, the oh, sun yeah. doesn't reach it, uh -huh. so it's just constant darkness. And there's animals that like you know there's tons of them actually. Um, mm -hmm. There's even sharks down there that live down there that that have evolved in that absolutely like without sunlight. And mm -hmm. so I don't know. I mean, to me, if there's liquid water there, and as far as we understand, that's what's required for life. That, that positive signs, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Well, so this is making the point that um, because it's so briny and so salty that it can stay liquid in really cold temperatures. Um, so it was oh, saying right. that, like if recent experiments have shown that water would dissolve salts of magnesium and calcium perchlorate, which they, they know there's a lot of perchlorates on Mars, which can actually be a problem. But anyway, uh, it can remain liquid at temperatures of negative 123 degrees Celsius. Wow. That's kind of crazy, actually. So as we know, Mars is really cold, especially around the poles. Um, so the fact that this can actually stay liquid, maybe that makes it easier to to mine and use in some way. It makes it more like usable. a bottle of alcohol. You throw it in the freezer, doesn't freeze. It's true. You know, same concept. I don't think it's, it's not of the water salt necessarily, but no, but you know, it's it's yeah has a different. So so when we take alcohol to Mars, it'll stay cold. That's correct, and it won't freeze, which is critical. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. 
And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.